Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you today episode 6.11 of the video series Satan's Powers and What to Do About Them by Alice B. Claggett. Episode 6.11 is entitled Negative Levitation. The first subheading is Levitation Through Alignment with God. Levitation can occur, I feel, when a person aligns his or her heart and mind and will with the great heart, the great mind, and the great will of God. In so doing, he or she becomes one with the all, with God's creation, and can manifest miracles. Jesus, for instance, was able, through God's grace, to walk on water. As to negative levitation, I recall reading once that the Catholic Church, in ages gone by, looked askance at clear abilities such as levitation. As I recall, they felt that the clear abilities might express God's miracles on earth or they might express the works of devils. I concur with this. The next subsection is levitation through entity, obsession, or possession. It also happens that people obsessed or possessed by negative astral beings levitate. In terms of the negative astral agenda, sometimes abbreviated as NAA, they are allowed to levitate so as to impress other people which the negative astral beings intend will turn more human beings to worship of the dark and provide them with increased fodder or food. The last subheading is the prince of the power of the air. The Bible mentions that Satan is the prince of the power of the air in Ephesians 2, verse 2. That's a King James Version, public domain. I get from this that the negative astral beings may be perceived as flitting about in the air, or that they may effect levitation of humans, and also that they may be good with telepathy, which might be considered a power of the air, and that they may be very smooth speakers, in parentheses, full of stuff and nonsense, end parents. I have for you an intriguing image entitled Witch's Flight by Francisco de Goya, 1797, from Wikimedia Commons and in the public domain. The figure looks like this. You can see at the bottom of the picture a dark clothed person with a white hood and shawl on, bending down towards the ground, and above them several witches levitating in the air and holding up the, the body of a man uh, as if he were lying flat in the air with chest and face turned upward. I was intrigued by the 3D effect of this image and its oddness. You can see also the three long tapered hats on 
the witches and their lack of clothing on the upper portion of their chest and they're wearing green skirts and floating in the air. I see also over the corner of the image at the bottom uh, looks like a burro or a donkey and I wonder if that might have to do with the legend that the indigenous cults of Brazil have of the chual or horse or donkey that a black magic spell can cast upon a person in order to make that person carry the burden of the dark and carry out the black magician's wishes. So if that were true, then this man lying so compliantly in the arms of the levitating witches might be that very chual or donkey or horse for carrying out the conquests of the black magicians, of the witches, of the sorcerers in the world. And levitation might be the perk that they have offered him in order to puff up his pride. And it, it, as you can see, nevertheless, it might be this figure here or these three figures in the air that are actually conferring that power on the man, not he himself. And these three figures and the figure on the ground may be the dupes or pawns of someone in the fourth dimension beyond physical form. So altogether an unappealing, foreboding sort of image, I feel. Well, that's all, dear ones. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.